So you've played a bad motherfucker, a Jedi Master, an Incredible, and an Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. What's the one row where you just absolutely geeked out over after reading the script? It's hard to say, you know, because I read comic books for so long, and being able to be Nick Fury now is like, you know, it's sort of a dick grabbing experience, you know, when you do it. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> but um, I actually felt that way too when I walked in the room. The, I mean, the first time George called and said, you know, George Lucas wants you to come to London, you know, you're finally going to do, um, you know, Star Wars, Ep 1. Uh, when I walked in the room, I had no idea why I was there. I hadn't seen a script, nothing. They just said, okay, you go to wardrobe first. And I walked in this room, and I thought I was in somebody else's dressing room because there was some boots there, and there was a Jedi robe. And then this girl came in and started putting the stuff on me, and I was like, whoa, I'm a Jedi? Because I, I still <laughs> haven't seen a script. And then I walked downstairs, and this guy comes over to me with a Halliburton, and he opens it, and there's like eight lightsaber handles in there. And he goes, okay, pick the one you want. And that was Ah, ah. <laughs> I about passed out. It was like, okay, 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 okay. <sighs> Whew, whoo, ah. You know, sweat popped out. It was like, ah, scalp was prickling. So, I mean, that's that's totally got to be 